Luke chapter 7, verses 1 through 10. You've heard the reading. I do want to add uh, very uh, quickly that on fifth Sunday, which is our mission Sunday, our preacher would be none other than our illustrious first lady, Bishop Dr. Pamela Jackson. She will be here to deliver a healing mission word Amen. on fifth Sunday. Is somebody teaching Sunday school that Sunday? Um, I'll make sure that it is. Yes, I, I definitely will make sure that we have an instructor for Sunday school on fifth Sunday. All right, my friends, let's look to Luke 7. Amen. You've heard the uh, reading earlier, so I will just uh, pre note my. Uh, use of the text today. I'm going, to, I'm going to use verse 2, 3, 7, 9, and 10. Luke chapter 7, verses 2, 3, 7, 9, and 10. From the King James Version. Luke 7, verses 2, 3, 7, 9 and 10. And a certain centurion's servant who was dear unto him was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come heal his servant. Verse 7. Wherefore neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. Verse 9. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Verse 10. And they that were sent returning to the house found the servant that whole that had been sick. Mm -hmm. This is the word of God for the children of God. Thanks be to God. God bless you as you are seated today. I want to talk to you for these few precious moments of a sermon entitled A Greater Level of Faith. Amen. A Greater level of faith. After delivering the sermon on the plain in Galilee in which he listed the Beatitudes, the woes, and the great parables of the blind, the good tree, and the house built upon a rock, our Lord continued his great evangelistic journey in the fall of 29 A.D. In our text, we see the conclusion of a sermon by our Savior as he headed for Capernaum. Upon arriving in the city, Jesus was approached by the local Jewish leaders who told him of the centurion whose servant had fallen gravely ill even unto death. It was unusual for Jews to associate or look to assist Roman soldiers. The Jews had forcefully, the Romans had forcefully conquered Jerusalem and Judea, and therefore they were the enemy of the Jews. But this particular centurion, or captain of 100 soldiers, was a man of faith in that he had built for the Jews a synagogue or house of worship in Capernaum. Mm -hmm. The centurion had never met Jesus, but he heard of the great master's works and wonderful miracles performed throughout Judea. Yeah. Because the centurion was a humble, caring man, the Jews were compelled to approach Jesus on his behalf, Amen. for they thought him worthy of the master's mercy. Yeah. Their persistence paid off, and Jesus went with them along the way to the centurion's house. 
On the way, the entourage was met by friends bearing a special message. The centurion told the friends to tell Jesus mm -hmm. that he did not have to make the trip to his house. The soldier felt that he was not worthy of such a visit. He was a Roman, a military man, a commander of troops, and therefore not fit to receive a Messiah into his home. Mm -hmm. All he wanted Jesus to do was say the word, and his servant would be healed. Yeah, right. When Jesus heard this message of unequivocal trust, he was taken by surprise. The scriptures say that he marveled at the centurion. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is said to have only marveled on two occasions in his ministry. Mm -hmm. Once at the unbelief of his beloved Jerusalem, and here secondly at the faith of the centurion. Yeah. Our Christ turned to those around him and said, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Mm -hmm. With this acclamation, the friends returned to the centurion's house and found his servant made whole. Mm -hmm. Some will say that the servant was healed through the omnipresence of God mm -hmm. or the everywhereness of God. Some will argue on behalf of our Savior's telepathic strength. Mm -hmm. I will combine these two arguments of omnipresence and telepathy with the sheer power of the centurion's faith. Yeah. For it was the centurion's faith that so impressed Jesus Christ that he marveled. Mm -hmm. This was not whimsical, misguided trust, nor was it substantiated hope. The centurion exercised what we must acquire today, yeah. a greater level of faith. Amen. Faith is a verb in the Greek language, pisteo. Say that with me. Pisteo. <laughs> Webster's Dictionary says it is allegiance to duty. Mm -hmm. It is belief and trust in God. Faith is loyalty, confidence. Assurance. Yeah. Faith is the keynote concept of Christianity. Mm -hmm. Salvation requires faith. Yes. Sanctification requires faith. faith. Amen. Purification requires faith. 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 Justification requires faith. faith. Adaptation into the family of God requires faith. faith. Faith is an attitude toward and a relationship with God mediated by Jesus Christ. Yes. It is to surrender to God's gift of righteousness in Christ rather than seeking to achieve righteousness on your own. Yes. But without faith, Hebrew writer says, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Yes. Amen. Faith is Christianity in action. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 5, 7 and 8 says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body uh -huh. and to be present with the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith is not an illusion. It's not some magic trick. It's not hocus pocus. It is real. It is tangible. It's even scientific. Yes. All right. The Hebrew writer again says, now faith, faith. is the substance. It's the matter. It's the mass. It's the stuff of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. The theologian W.L. Self said, Faith is what we believe. Amen. It is Christianity itself, but primarily it is the relationship we have with God through what Jesus Christ accomplished in his death, burial, and resurrection. Amen. Amen. With these concepts of faith in mind, the example of the centurion looms large, even greater and brighter. 
doubting Thomas would not believe that Jesus had risen from the dead until he physically saw him and examined his wound. Yeah. And upon his examination, Thomas declared, my Lord and my God. To this Jesus answered, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. But blessed are those that have not seen and yet have believed. He's talking about you and I today. The three Hebrew boys had no earthly guarantee of a rescue from the flames of the fiery furnace. All they had was a sublime faith in God's saving power. Yes. They knew that God could do what he wants to do whenever he wants to do it for whoever he wants to do it to. <laughs> Daniel had no tangible insurance against the jaws of those hungry lions in the lion's den. All he carried with him was an elevated faith in Jehovah's mercy. You see, Daniel knew that the lions belonged to God and they could not harm him unless God allowed it to happen. Amen. Amen. The widow in the synagogue did not know where her next meal was coming from, yet she sacrificed unto the Lord her last pennies with a noble faith that our Father would never forsake the righteous nor allow his seed to beg for bread. My Lord. My Lord. We need a greater level of faith, church. Yes, yes, yes. We need Faith that runs high. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, Lord. Faith in God that soars like an eagle. Yes. Faith in Jesus Christ that towers over our problems. Yes. Faith that transcends our doubts. Mm -hmm. Faith like Joshua's that rises to great heights. Mm -hmm. Faith like Jeremiah that knows no boundaries. Mm -hmm. Faith like Ezekiel that keeps on preaching even when the audience is dead. Yes, yes. yes. Our four parents reach this greater level of faith. Mm -hmm. For no ordinary faith could have sustained them. Mm -hmm. Stacks like park sardines in a can. Yes. During the middle passage across the Atlantic Ocean on slave ships. No ordinary faith could have kept them during the lashes of the evil slave master's whip. Amen. No ordinary faith could have calmed them during the endless days of back-breaking slavery. Yeah. No ordinary level of faith could have harnessed their yearning for freedom and their homeland. Mm -hmm. I hear that intense level of faith and trust in our liberating all-powerful God. I hear it echoing across the plantation fields. Mm -hmm. I hear their vivacious faith while in the cotton and tobacco fields singing, Jesus yeah. will fix it for you. Yeah. For he knows yeah. just what to do. Yeah. Whenever you pray, yeah. let him have his way. Yeah. Jesus will fix it for you. Yeah. You see, it took a greater level of faith to hold on through the long night of bigotry, Amen. hate, discrimination, yes. and second-class citizenship. Yes. It took enormous faith to endure the long nights of reconstruction, mm -hmm. Jim Crowism, mm -hmm. disenfranchisement, mm -hmm. apartheid, and yes. misery. Mm -hmm. It was faith in God, yes. our great deliverer that brought us through the long nights of oppression. Uh -huh. We were knocked down time and time again. Knocked down, yeah. but they couldn't knock us out. Right. We held on yes. with mama's prayer. Yeah. We held on yes. with daddy walking in the civil rights march. Yes. We held on yes. though the young, the innocent, and the faithful died along the way. Yeah. It was a greater level of faith yes. that brought us through our Egypt, yes. brought us through our Babylon, yes. brought us through our Harper's Ferry, yes. brought us through our Brownsville, yes. brought us through Montgomery, Alabama, yes. 
brought us across the bridge in self. Yeah. Brought us through the riots in Watts. Yeah. Brought us through the assassination in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. It brought us through our 9-11. Yeah. And it brought us through our January 6th. Yeah. We could not see at the moment yeah. the fruits of sweet freedom during these dark periods of history. Yeah. But we knew that our faith in God through his emancipating son, Jesus Christ, would indeed bring us triumph over yeah. our oppressors. This is the faith that occasioned James Weldon Johnson to write, sing a song yeah. full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Uh -huh. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us facing the rising sun of our new days and gun. Let us march on yes, till victory is won. Yes. Yes, Lord. We now look at the early days of first two decades of this new millennium, mm -hmm. the postmodern era. Yeah. The Cold War is over. Mm -hmm. It was seen that communism is all but gone. Yeah. Space is only a shuttle ride away. Mm -hmm. Technology is so advanced that the world has become one big neighborhood. Yeah. Yet the forecast for world peace looks grim and the stage of hope is cluttered and crowded with the atrocities of man's inhumanity to his fellow man. Yeah. What will it take to recapture that drive? Yeah. What will it take to recapture the flame? Yeah. I believe that it will take something that's urgent once again. Yes. A greater level of faith. Yes. Like the centurion, we must develop a faith in God that is so strong that we don't require a physical manifestation of God's presence to believe that he is with us, that he's working on our behalf, and he's making a way out of no way. He will and he must prevail. God cannot fail. My Lord said, be still. Be still. And know that I am God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be exalted among the heathen. Yeah. I will be exalted in all of the earth. Yeah. It will take a greater level of faith in my God. Uh -huh. To rescue our brothers and sisters. Yeah. From the genocidal confinement behind prison bars in your county prison. Yeah. It will take a greater level of faith. Yeah. To rid our neighborhoods of the scourge of dope mm -hmm. and replace it with new hope. Yeah. All right. All right. It'll take a greater level of faith yes. to eradicate crime in our streets yeah. and replace handguns yeah. with handbooks. Right. A greater level of faith yes. to liberate our people from the brainwashing and propaganda in the 24-hour news media cycle. Uh -huh. A greater level of faith to re-educate our children to love their personhood, love themselves, cherish their history, and not hate where they come from. A greater level of faith to step out and start businesses in our own neighborhoods and serve our people in our communities with honesty, decency, and integrity. We need a greater level of faith. Yes. Faith in God, yes. not in man. Yes. Faith that God will bring us through. Yes. He'll bring us through by the cleansing blood of his only begotten son. Yes. He'll save the lost. We need faith that he will redeem sinners and emancipate those who are bound by sin. Yes. We need a greater level of faith to begin. Faith to serve the same God yes. that freed Egypt, that freed Israel from Egyptian slavery. Yeah, uh -huh. The same God that brought them through the wilderness to the promised land. Yeah, uh -huh. The same God that brought them out of Babylonian captivity. Yeah. The same God that yeah. will break the chains of slavery in America. The same God is able to free our soul, reclaim the lost tribe of Israel, 
from the current state of despair and destruction and give us a new promised land. Yes. Second Chronicles 7.14, God says to us, if my people, Amen. which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. Then I will forgive their sins. Then I will heal their land. My friends, a greater level of faith comes through total dependence, submission, and thanksgiving to El Shaddai. It comes through a prayer life that's committed. A personal relationship with Jesus Christ. A continuous communion with the Holy Spirit. A greater level of faith is reached when you surrender your all to Christ. When you let it all go. And let God take control. When you take up your cross daily. Yes. And follow our Lord. Uh -huh. When you make up your mind to say, not my will, uh, but thy will be done, O oh Lord, then you acquire a greater level of faith. Yes. Dr. King once said, this faith yes. will allow us to hew out of a mountain of despair, yes. a stone of hope. Oh, yeah, With this faith, we will be able to change the quicksands of oppression yeah. into a beautiful oasis of freedom. Yeah. Yeah. With this faith, this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discourse of our nation to a magnificent symphony of brotherhood. Yeah. I tell you today that with this greater level of faith, yeah, we can empty our overcrowded presence. Yeah. With a greater level of faith, we can rid our communities of crime, corruption, and drugs. With a greater level of faith, we can liberate the brainwashed and re-educate our children. With a greater level of faith, we can win lost souls to Jesus and set the captive free. With a greater level of faith, every mountain will be made low. Every valley shall be exalted. The rough places shall be made plain, yeah. and the crooked places shall be made straight, yeah. and the glory of the Lord shall yeah. be revealed, and all flesh shall yeah. see it together. Yeah. With a greater level of faith, yeah. a mustard seed becomes a mighty tree. Yeah. With a greater level of faith, you can say to the mountain, yeah. be thou removed, yeah. and it'll vanish in the twinkling of an eye. With yeah. a greater level of faith, yeah. impossible dreams become yeah. Great realities. Yes. With a greater level of faith, there'll be clear shining after the rain. Yes. With a greater level of faith, an ocean of despair yes. becomes a great sea of hope. Yes. With a greater level of faith, last night's tears yes. become this morning's joy. Yes. With a greater level of faith, no life can live forever. Yes. Truth pressed to the earth shall rise again yes. because my eyes have seen yes. the glory yes. of the coming. With a great surprise. Yes. He's loosed that faithful life oh, yeah, of his terrible Swiss yeah. My God. Yeah. My God. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Is marching on. Yeah. So my heart says, my faith comes up to me. Yeah. Yeah. Thy lamb of Calvary. Yeah. Savior divine. Yeah. Our Lord, oh, yeah, Lord, be with you today. Yeah, amen. Thank you, Lord. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap.